So let me show you an example for a recruiter that I did in my last workshop. So recruiters are trying to look for people that are already working in companies and lure them to another company. That's how a recruiter gets paid. And this particular recruiter was working with an employee and the employee ghosted him. And during the workshop, he wrote this email. Subject line was given up. And the sentence was, have you given up on exploring the opportunity at X company? This is a technique I learned from a friend of mine that I had in my podcast a while back called Chris Voss. And it's a highly effective way to create incongruence. Here's the actual email that he sent. I sent it on October 15th. Notice the timestamp there at 9.55 a.m. Hey, Mikhail, have you given up on looking at the opportunity? And at 10.05, about 10 minutes later, gets this response back from the applicant. Um, I'm not giving up, but I'm currently very busy and occupied with a construction project that I have started, and I've not had the ability to dedicate quality time to a conversation with you. And this is the key sentence, right? I pride myself in my work ethic and not burning bridges. In other words, that's incongruence right there because he said he was going to do something and didn't do it i want to make sure i see this project through i'm free on monday so here's a couple different ways you could say it have you put x on ice so for me have you put the cold call workshop on ice have you given up on name of project name of company name of idea you were talking about them with are you putting x on the back burner for now have you put X on hold? 